Today I'm going to show you four simple but very useful hacks that you can pull off using some matchsticks and some common household stuff. Before I start, I want to remind you that tomorrow is the final day for my wireless charger giveaway. Click on the annotation on the screen to watch that video for a chance to win or check for the link in the description. Back to the matches. Number 1. Strike Anywhere Matches You need a big matchbox, a pair of scissors, a piece of paper, some water and a dropper, a small container, a piece of styrofoam and optionally some sanding paper. Using the scissor blade, scrape off the sides of the matchbox with a piece of paper below it. Collect the brown powder which is basically red phosphorus mixed with powdered glass and other chemicals. After scraping both sides, you should have enough to do the job. Drop the contents into a small container or preferably a cap of a small container. Optionally, you can rub two small pieces of sanding paper to give you a little bit of abrasive dust. Mix this into the container as well. This will give it a bit more friction when it is dry. Pour in a drop of water using the dropper and mix it with a match stick until you get an even consistency. Now just dip a match into it to cover half of the match head with this mixture. Coat as many matches as you can with the mixture you have and then leave them a couple of hours to dry out completely. Once ready, look for a rough surface and strike a match against it. I tried it on a cement slab and a metal can which I had burnt earlier leaving it with a rough surface. As you can see, it works just fine. However, it doesn't work 100% of times so you have to be a bit patient. But what does work each and every time is striking it with another match. Take a regular match and a modified one and strike the heads against each other. One or both of them will immediately catch on fire. I modified a small matchbox with a separation in between. I filled one side with regular matches and the other with strike anywhere ones. In case your striker pads give away, you can always resort to bumping their heads together. Number 2 is a waterproof matchbox. If you're going on a camping trip, there's a good chance your matchbox striker pads can get moist if not wet and not work equally good. This is a simple way to keep them dry. Take a small container like this one, empty it out and clean it if required. This can has a sharp edge at the brim. I'll use my pliers to bend it so it doesn't cut me while I'm working with it. Once done, fill it with your matches with the heads at the bottom. Now cut both the strips from the box and glue it to the inside of the upper part of the can. Let it dry and it's ready to use. The tightly fit rubber lid is completely waterproof and your matches and striking pads will stay dry even if you drown it in a river. When you want to use it, simply remove the lid, take a match and strike it as usual. Number 3 is a makeshift firework fuse. With a set of pliers, remove the match head coatings from a whole big box of matches into a ceramic container. Then crush them with a hard round object like this roll-on deodorant bottle cap I have here. Once you have some relatively fine powder, mix in some water drop by drop until you have a consistency like this. Add a drop of water soluble glue and mix it in nicely. You'll know you have the right consistency when you see the mixture coating itself around the match you're using to mix it with. Now take a small length of cord, try stretching it out a couple of times so it kind of fluffs out a bit, then dip it in the mixture making sure it gets an even coat. Remove it and hang it to dry. Once dry, you have a makeshift fuse for your fireworks. Now fireworks are illegal over here, so this is the best I can come up with. Just light the fuse and enjoy. Number 4 is my personal favorite, fire starting cotton balls. Repeat all the steps which you did for the fuse. When you have the match head powder mix with glue and water added, grab a cotton ball and dip one side of it into the mixture and set it aside to dry. When ready, all you have to do is place it out in the sun and with the help of a magnifying glass, focus sunlight onto the flammable coating on the cotton and within seconds it will burst into flames. The cotton catches on fire and gives you a small flame for a couple of seconds. Throw on your tinder bundle on top and you're ready to build a fire. It's also good to fluff out the cotton a bit. This will increase its surface area giving you a bigger flame. 
You can make a couple of these and store it in a box. They make for great fire starters by relying solely on the power of sun when other sources fail and can be an excellent addition to your camping backpack. Now I know you might say that you can just use a magnifying glass to start a fire, but it's not that true. You can definitely get anything to smoke using a magnifying glass and sunlight, but getting a flame requires practice and patience. In this case, it's instant flame. There you go. Now you know four more ways to use those matches. I hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button below and subscribe to my channel for more gadget reviews, life hacks and facts. Make sure you check out my giveaway video which ends tomorrow, plus I'll be doing another giveaway next week so stay tuned. Make sure you like my page on Facebook and follow me on Twitter, Google Plus and Instructables. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.